Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thanks again so much for being here and welcome back. Today I've got kind of a surprise unboxing, or at least a surprise to me. I was not expecting the Wordy Traveler to send me a box for review this season, but it looks as though they have. In case you haven't seen any of my previous Wordy Traveler unboxings, this subscription kind of combines two of my loves. It is both a book box and a travel box. Each quarter they select a different destination and transport you there through books. You get to choose now between fiction or non-fiction as well as some lovely items from that destination. There's usually a little charm, an art print, some tea, and it really is an experience in a box. They do have two different subscription tiers. They they have the full suitcase which is $109.99 plus shipping and that includes three books and usually a few more items than the backpacker edition which is what I have received in the past and that is $49.99 plus $7.50 in shipping but in that you only receive a one book and usually a few fewer items than in the full suitcase but it looks like they've sent me the backpacker edition and I'm really excited to get into it and I'm not sure if my code is still working I'll try to get that confirmed but if you are interested in checking out the Wordy Traveler. You should be able to save 15% using the code Hi Noel. As always, you guys, I'll leave all of that information for you in the description box below. So this time it came in kind of like a more square box and it does have their cute little pink elephant on it, but I'm gonna turn it over on its side so that I can hopefully get in there and pull everything out without anything like breaking or falling to the ground, which is always, always a worry. But inside I'm seeing a little envelope, again, with their little pink elephant logo, which I love. And then we'll just kind of pull out some of the paperwork and see what we have got. So the first thing is like a little business card. It says, a portion of the proceeds from this box has been donated to Vitamin Angels to provide life-saving nutrition to pregnant women and children. Thank you for helping make the world a better place one book at a time. And of course, I love reading that and seeing that. I love any box that gives back to the communities that it is uh, sourcing products from or that it is inspired from. Um, and then we have our product card for the winter journey and it does it does say this is the backpacker edition and it does look like we do have some of those items that are in every box in terms of like the charm um, and the tea from Ohio Tea Company so I'll just prop that up in front of me. They don't include the retail values but uh, they don't include very like detailed descriptions of the items but like I said I think I think it's just the experience of getting to open it up and be a little bit surprised. And then the final sheet of paper says the sounds, movies, and treats to help transport you to Japan, which this is kind of new. I haven't seen this in any uh, Wordy Traveler boxes I've gotten before, but it looks like for music, they actually have a Wordy Traveler Spotify playlist for Japan, which is kind of cool. And I feel like a lot of different subscription boxes are starting to do Spotify playlists, which I think is really neat. And it does kind of add, add to the experience. Um, I need to take advantage of them a little bit more often. I have been kind of bad about that. And then for movies, it does kind of give us like a little synopsis of all these different suggested movies. We've got Seven Samurai, Jiro Dreams of Sushi, The Birth of Sake, and then turning it on the back page, uh, back of the page, it has Godzilla, the classic from 1954, which to be honest, I've never actually watched it. I've just seen like the clips that like, you know, get spliced into other movies. So let me know in the comments below if you've seen that, that Godzilla movie or any of the other ones that I actually uh, mentioned. And then for taste, they have a recipe for three color dango dumplings, which I've never actually heard of. I'm not exactly sure what they are, but it looks like it requires some rice flour as well as matcha green tea powder. So interesting. Um, I'm, I might give it a try, but let me know you guys if you've ever heard of that treat. Uh, usually there's like a letter from the founder, but I'm not actually seeing that, but maybe it's like hidden in here in the tissue paper. So we'll go ahead and get into the box and see what we received, but I'm excited about our chosen destination of Japan. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the book and like I said you only get one book in the backpacker edition. Um, so this actually looks like a non-fiction book and again this was sent to me for review. Normally I would probably choose the fiction but it is a New York Times notable book. It's called Untangling My Chopsticks, A Culinary Sojourn in Kyoto by Victoria Abbott Riccardi. So this looks uh, very Japanese on the cover, but I, I do like nonfiction books and the fact that it has to do with food kind of makes it a little bit more enticing to me. 
It says two years out of college and with a degree from Le Cordon Bleu in Paris, Victoria Cardi left a boyfriend, a rent-controlled New York City apartment, oh you never do that, and a plum job in advertising to move to Kyoto to study kaiseki, the exquisitely refined form of cooking that accompanies the formal Japanese tea ceremony. She arrived in Kyoto, a city she had dreamed about but never seen with two, two bags, an open-ended plane ticket, and the ability to speak only sushi bar Japanese. She left a year later having learned the language, the art of kaiseki, and what was truly important to her. So this sounds kind of interesting. It says, untangling my chopsticks is a sumptuous journey into the tastes, traditions, and exotic undercurrents of Japan. It is also a coming of age tale steeped in history and ancient customs, a thoughtful meditation on life, love, and learning in another land. So this does actually sound really interesting. I have always wanted to go to Japan and it's kind of like on the list for places to go, although we're going to have to play a little catch up after the last couple of years. But hopefully we get to get there for my my thought was we were going to go there for my husband's 40th birthday. He luckily has a couple more years until he gets there. So I have a little more time to plan and learn a little bit more about this destination. But I feel like it's like the universe is just telling me I need to go there. Um, not only with the boxes that I've been receiving, but just like other little like signs that are out there. So that book actually sounds really great. And I'm, I'm excited to read it. So let's see what else we've got. We have our Ohio Tea Company exclusive blend. So it always comes from Ohio Tea Company, but this one is of course inspired by Japan. It is Sencha Fancy Green Tea with a grassy and slightly nutty flavor. You guys know I have tons of tea. I usually like pass these on in different giveaway boxes because they are pretty packages and I think everybody likes to receive tea um, and I like to share tea. So I will probably pass this on to someone who I know likes green tea, but I do think that's a nice little um, addition that they have in every box because it does kind of go hand in hand with like reading and everything. They also always have a charm and I'm trying to be good about collecting all of my charms to maybe put them on a bracelet one day. I think that is such a great like small like souvenir to have from all of these boxes. So it came in a little bag and this one actually has some color. Usually it's just like silver. And let's see what it is. It looks like a little cherry blossom charm, a little sakura, which makes sense. And it's even got a little sparkle in the center. Of course, you guys, I'll take some photos for you guys over on Instagram, but it does have a nice little pale, pale pink color to it. That one is really actually very pretty. And you could definitely just put just that by itself on a chain, I think would be lovely for the spring. So it does say this is the winter journey, but it's kind of like got spring vibes to me so far. In another little bag, it looks like we've got some treats and I do like these. Let's see what it is. Um, I don't think it actually says on on the sheet. These are just high chew and it's like we've got different flavors, but it doesn't look to be particularly like Japanese to me. I think they're just like including some treats, but it doesn't like have like Japanese writing on them or anything. But I do love like Japanese candies and stuff are always really fun. So here is our art print and I, I do have like a travel wall. We do like to collect art from the different countries and places that we visit, but I wouldn't necessarily put this on the wall quite yet because I would feel like it's cheating to have like, you know, to have something from Japan when I haven't really gotten to explore the country, but I'll, I'll keep it on the back burner. I'll keep it stored somewhere so that one day when we do actually go there, then I can actually put this up. But it is lovely. It's got like your, your very classic wave design, that kind of style. So it just says this is a print ink painting by Japanese artist Kimasa. So very like traditional. Love that. Love the like big rays in the background. So that's kind of cool. I, I do like that style. I tried to do a little bit of that like kind of more like almost tattoo line drawing kind of style. Oh, now it's been like almost 20 years ago, but I, I did I did used to have an artistic bone in my body. It just hasn't gotten much like use lately. We have got a nice bookmark. So this is Lake Sua in the Shinano province by Katsushiko Hokusai. So Hokusai, of course, classic artist. So love that. And it is always nice to have a special bookmark for your special book. I, I have started thinking that that does it add to the experience. Before I was always kind of thinking like a bookmark was sort of like a throwaway thing because how many bookmarks do you need? And now I feel like I need a bookmark for every book. <laughs> Um, but it does, it is nice. I like this box because for the most part, it doesn't necessarily feel like tchotchke souvenir things. They actually feel like very nice and they're also not going to take up a lot of space in your home. Um, I generally don't like boxes uh, that 
their travel boxes where it's got like, you know, the, the destination name emblazoned across like the mug or the candle or the shirt just because it feels strange to me to like wear something like that or use something like that, especially if it's a destination I haven't personally been to except through that subscription box. Let me know what your thoughts are about that in the uh, comments below, but I feel like it's wearing like like wearing a different like college sweatshirt when you and no one in your family has ever gone to that college. It's just kind of like strange to me. It would make sense if you've maybe visited the college at least. Um, let's see, we have got a thumb thing, reading ring and bookmark. Huh, I have never seen this. That is kind of cool. And I'm glad they have like a picture because I would not understand it otherwise. So it's just this little like, um, plastic thingamajiggy, but you basically put this point here in the center of the book to keep the pages down and then your finger goes there so that you don't have to like hold both sides of the book, especially those like big thick books where they're, they're kind of stiff. So let me just show you the image that's on this little uh, like business card. So here you guys, you can kind of see, you just put your thumb through there, I guess. And then that way you can just slide down. And it's kind of nice because it can show you like where you are on the page as well. It's like a little pointer. I've never seen that, but I think that's actually like very smart. So, huh. All right, I actually showed it to you upside down, didn't it? But didn't I? But you kind of got the idea. Uh, so let's see if it's on here. It uh, I don't actually see it. I think that's just like a little extra, which is kind of cool. It's like a bookish thing, you know, not necessarily like a Japanese thing, but a bookish thing. Very appreciated. And then we have got looks like I was gonna say chopsticks, but now I think it's a fan. So it's wrapped up in some red tissue paper. Let me see if I can slide this off. It says it is a Japanese ceremonial fan, hopefully. And these you guys are so helpful to have, especially when you are traveling. Like when we were in Greece a couple of summer ago, ago, it was so, so hot. And all I wanted was like a basic fan. And we had to like buy these super expensive ones. But like, I think just a simple fan is such a great thing to have in your purse. So look how pretty this is with the cherry blossoms. I love that it's very, very simple. And I love the little cutouts here on the bottom. So super cute. And like I said, very functional and also like small. Small. It's not going to take up a ton of space in your house if it's not something that you, um, you know, necessarily fits with your decor. But if you wanted to hang it on the wall, you certainly could. I actually think that's really pretty. I'm happy with that. And it feels like it's actually fabric on the fan part, not paper. So it's not going to like tear easily. So I'm, I'm very excited for it to get a little bit warmer to the point where I need a fan. And then we have one more item in this uh, backpacker edition from Japan. And it came in a box. I'm saving the best for last because I looked at the list and this sounded like the most exciting thing. Um, this is beautiful. Love this. It's a teacup and it is ceramic. This is so nice. It didn't have like very much package packaging around it. So I'm really happy that it made it in one piece. Of course, this reminds me of like one of my Kazuna boxes, but I love just the blue wash where you can actually see the paint strokes. There's a little sticker mark that I have to like uh, get off with some hot water, but that shouldn't be too bad. But I think that's so pretty. And I, now I have so many like different Japanese ceramics and they're all mismatched. And I I kind of am loving building that collection. So this is definitely my favorite item and you could use it for all kinds of things. It could be a very tall snack bowl if you really wanted it to. I kind of wish we got two because you guys, that's how I always am about any sort of like drinkware. I always like to have like a set, um, even though I just said I like mismatch stuff in terms of like plates and stuff, I think it's fine. But for this, it would have been really, really nice to get two, but I love the blue. I think it's really pretty. So still my favorite item, but overall pretty good box, I thought. And like I said, I think the book sounds really interesting. Every once in a while, you never know with like not fiction it might not be something that to totally interests you but I like those kind of coming of age stories and the fact that there is like a little bit of a culinary like background backdrop to it sounds really interesting I think the cherry blossom charm is beautiful the art print is not necessarily one that I think that I would choose even if I had gone to Japan but again it's lovely I'll probably just keep it with the book um, and have it on hand or if I know any anyone who loves Japan uh, maybe I'll, I'll pass that on to them 
I think the little reading ring is really cool as well. Let me know though what you guys thought about this Wordy Trowler Backpacker Edition for winter featuring Japan. Let me know what your favorite item was if you have had the opportunity to visit Japan. I would also love to hear from you. Like I said, I feel like it's been appearing in so many different boxes and I love it. I think it's great. I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and hopefully I see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.